Hello everyone, this is Rock from College Mall. Today we introduce you the way of upgrading, the UI upgrading. First, uh, as the screen has different resolution now, so you need to tell us which resolution of your screen is. Or if you, if we, if your supplier or us sent you the wrong software, then after upgrading, the screen will go dead and lead to ship back. So first. Uh, here, prepare, prepare a card, TF card. Prepare a card and then format. You can check format the card and format it in F eighty thirty two, and then click yes, and then click yes. Okay, confirm. And then we go to click the. Always we send you a file zipped. So this file check. This file is the new UI. So what do you need to do first? First you need when you download it, you click it and then click unzip it. When you unzip it you will get this file. And then you need to copy or send to the card. And then just wait. And please note, uh, during during the installation, during the upgrading, do not power off the car. The process always ten to fifteen minutes until the screen goes to the main menu. Goes to the main menu of the Android screen. If you power off or your battery is not have enough power, then the screen goes dead, and then you can do nothing. Just need to shift back screen. What means? Always, what means the screen is dead? I show you a picture here. One minute. If you do a wrong, you do a wrong upgrading, this appear. This most possible means the screen is dead. If this appear, you just need to re, to do upgrading again. If cannot, if cannot, solve the problem. The only way is to ship back because most possible, the PCB inside is has problems because of uh. Uh, on normal upgrading way, so it's still copying. We just wait, and please note: first step, format the card. This is very important, and then copy the file. Copy the two file, two files directly to the card, and you can check. And you can check here. This is zero, but. No doubt, no worry. Copy, just direct copy to the root of the TF card. Okay, done. We take the card out, and then go to the platform to the upgrading. The first, we turn the screen with no with no card insert to check the OEM style. And uh, okay, first I change the language. Okay. First we check the main menu. And you can check the new one here has an empty place. And no carplay, you check no carplay here. And what we upgrade with the screen, with the software, we'll make a couple appear here. Okay, what you do first, take out this cut. Take out this cut, insert to the to here. The first one with the words of TF card. And then you can check screen no change. And then what we need to do? Turn off the car, lock your car, and the screen off, radio off, engine off, and then power on. And you will check the screen here. We have upgrading. One minute, one seconds. You can check. This means upgrading is starting.
and now the upgrading software we sent is a wrong one is the normal resolution is 1281 and you can check though it's wrong but during the installation don't change let it be we just stop here to wait because the resolution is not correct so we can wait even this happen wait just wait don't change don't power off keep waiting if now you power off the screen most possible the screen will go dead like the picture I sent to you and then you just need to shift back screen that's not the that's not what we want here this process keep waiting around 5 to 10 minutes don't power off okay run friend please doubt this is the wrong software upgrading this you can see has entered the main menu so here you can take it out take out and I will use I will use the correct software to do upgrading okay hold on one minute first turn okay first I just directly take the card out okay I take the this one is for 1200 and 80 and this is for 1970 okay do again we can check what will happens so this one just keep waiting you can check it's upgrading so we just keep waiting always 15 to always 10 to 15 minutes and here I just stopped I just paused to say okay just keep recording so this process can tell you no matter what happens keep waiting keep waiting never power off until unless the screen goes to the main menu this is very very important and here this empty place you can check is the press way so we just keep waiting I think the screen will go as normal okay we can see if you check so here up here the last process of upgrading is the wrong way but here you can check we just keep waiting this check keep waiting when this appears do nothing keep waiting still five to ten minutes keep waiting here time you check the time okay and now you cut here and the two minutes gone so we so we keep waiting still on the way keep waiting okay just get okay so what the first what the first thing what you need to do after grading is not take the card out so take out the card you must do this because if you by accidentally restart the car and then the screen will upgrade again this is just waste of your time okay we can go check now you can check apps here but here this is our carplay okay what if we will now what 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 will happen if you click here without our software this will appear so if this happens if you get the carplay from us ask for the carplay software from us okay i insert the cut in always the software inside yes for manager click here one time and then find extend the card okay just install the apps so we can check what will happens click down okay 
and then you click the CarPlay, you can check it changes. So changes, and then you just need to connect this to our offered USB port, and then another side connect to the phone. It will work. I will show you. Okay, the connection way is very easy. You can check. Click car. So if you want the CarPlay in the main menu, you can get the screen from us. Check what happens. Okay, so all working. Any other questions? Write us. Copy here. Not run from here, and you can see the phone link is disappear. Only has this autocade. That's the special software we have.